welcome to my class. Today we are going to design a building which I have previously analyzed with seismic load, time wind load, date load, light load. So let's start. First open the step pro. Click on open project because we have done the project previously. Just opening the project. Search to building. Click on open. And I to design the that building. First go to style editor. Delete performance analysis and finish. Press delete from your keyboard and for save it you can click on the save option or you can save from your keyboard that is with control plus v sorry my mistake control plus s now close it now open the load page see the loads are assigned this is a seismic load, wind load, date load, type load and the combination loads are applied. So we are going to just do the design part. Go to design, concrete design of course. We are going to be using Indian code IS456. Select the current code IS456. You can choose your own country code. Okay. Now, choosing the code, go to the parameters. You have to select the parameters. Then, you are going to define those parameters. Then, design it. At first, click on select parameters. Just Select all this is the selected parameters. We're not going to need all the parameters. So just add these the available parameters. Now just select the parameter. Clear cover compressive strength, yield strength. Basin for share enforcement. This will be it. Okay. No, define parameters. Sorry, you have to select the torsion parameter. Define the parameter clear cover for slab it is 25 millimeter for meter it is 0 0.025 and for B 30 and for column 40 and Compressive strength 25 and strength for main main percent 500 and close. Torsion reinforcement doesn't seem to. Here is the torsion. Now select torsion perimeter. Nearly at the effect of torsion or design that for torsion. Of course, design for torsion and close. Now first clear for slab. Now 
for selecting the slab go to slab cursor select the slab cursor select slabs and it is also selected or assign to selected beams or plates assign yes it is assigned that is the right mark for beams select the beams by selecting beam parallel to x and z assign to selected beams assign yes clear cover for columns beam parallel to y assign yes now compressive strength and yield strength goes to the whole structure so just click on assign to view assign yes assign to view assign yes assign to view assign yes now torsion i have to select torsion for this particular beams for selecting multiple beams press control from your keyboard Now this is the slab, so torsion may occur. Now after selecting the beams, we can assign the selected beams. Assign yes. Now select assigning the parameters go to commands design beam add design column add and design slab or element and close <coughs> sorry now we have to assign the parameters Let's say commands select the design beam now select the beams by means parallel to X and be parallel to Z. Select assign to select beams, assign S. Yes. For column, select the columns by selecting beams parallel to Y. Assign S. Yes. For selecting elements, select the plate cursor, select the plates, assign to selected plates, assign, yes. Now, after refining all the parameters and commands, you have to analyze it. Go to comments, analysis. Perform analysis, okay. Analysis, ground analysis, save. Let's see, it will take a second. Okay. Error warnings. There is no error, but some warnings. Let's see the warnings. View output file. Done.
Select one is now. The first warning for repeat load for reanalysis. Now this warning for the just if there are any warning at first read it okay, very carefully. Deep sorry deep pin is is not designed assuming it to be a part of continuous beam and away from the critical section for enhanced shear. Ordinary shear check is performed. Otherwise provide ends and reinforcement parameters. This is the warning that shows that will show you they do not design that beam as a deep beam. It is designed as a part of the continuous beam. That's for the warnings. Don't worry about this warning. Let's see the result. Concrete design. This is the design report. Or you can say design. Detail design. Now I am going to elaborate this result. Let's see. Beam now three. Length, size, and cover. It is a beam cover thirty millimeter. Okay. So let's find the number three beam. You can just go to go the cards file. Any member you will see the names. But if you want to see all the beam numbers at single time, you have to press Shift and B for beam numbers. Let's find beam norm 3. It is 5, 6. So number 3. This is the number 3. Double click on the member. very carefully listen very carefully size okay concrete design now summary of reinforcement area <coughs> summary of provided reinforcement area so we can understand the provided reinforcement area <coughs> sorry top reinforcement Start to end 0, 0.0 mm to 3649.9 mm. Length 3649.86 or 0.9. Now, two now 25 mm tire bar on the top reinforcement, which is a top layer, and it is the one layer. Okay. Bottom reinforcement, three number of 12 mm tire bar in one layer. This is the one layer and this is the bottom layer in one layer, top reinforcement in one layer. Why does it say one layer, not two layer? If the bar spacing are too close, then we have to Provide the bar into two layer. Between the two layer, we have to give a 
space r bar space r bar okay so that's why it is a one layer and shear reinforcement two legged eight millimeter dia bar 100 110 millimeter center to center you can see eight millimeter bar center to center 110 millimeter spacing okay go to the post processing okay see the actual force where is the actual process initial y direction press control and just scroll the product from the mouse share J direction bending moment Y direction bending moment Z direction beam stress deflection you can see the reaction of the column This is the reaction. Y means initial force. X, Y, Z are the forces, and M means in Y, M, Z are the moments, loops, and moments. These are the initial forces. Reaction of the columns. For the buildings, for reports, you can select all the selected on the available cases and select OK. You can see the reports here. Okay. All the detail things you can have on the reports. So this is how you can design a five-story building and analyze the five-story building. Okay. If you have any problem, comment on the video or mail me. The mail address is available in my youtube channel okay so thank you